welcome to my channel Notes from the Sewing Room. My name's Becky, thank you for joining me today. It's lovely to have you with me as always. So in today's video, I'm gonna be sharing 15 top tips of how I personally fit sewing into a busy life. So I thought they may be useful for you as well. So I hope you enjoy watching today. Don't forget if you do, please do press that like button and leave me any comments that you'd like to down below. And of course, do let me know how you fit sewing into your busy life as well. Now, what I've done is I've actually divided this video into three different sections. So we've got a section for if you've got five minutes, a section if you've got 10 minutes, and a section if you've got 20 minutes or more. But before we do all of that, I will just let you know what I'm wearing today for those of you who are interested. So I'm actually wearing a ready to wear cardigan by a brand called Hell Bunny, which I really like. Um, they do kind of like vintagey type clothes. Um, and vintage inspired should I say and then I've also got one of my favorite Friday pattern company square neck tops and this is actually a jersey version made in a kind of animal print uh, jersey which you probably uh, can't see too well on the camera so just come a little bit closer so you can see that and I've also got a homemade self-drafted um, elastic waist skirt as well so I'll just stand up you can see it a little bit better so there we go um, but yes, yeah, so that's my outfit for today, just in case you are interested in that. So let's get to it and I'm going to tell you about my 15 <laughs> different ideas of how I personally fit sewing into a busy life. So as you'll probably know if you are um, a regular viewer, you'll know that I have a toddler and um, we are doing up um, a 1960s house and um, I work as well. So I've got quite a lot going on, um, but I appreciate that everybody has got different things in their life um, and everybody is busy for lots of different reasons. So these um, tips that I'm sharing with you today work for me personally, and I hope that they might um, give you a little bit of inspiration as well. Um, but I'd love to know if you have any other tips as well of how you fit sewing into your life. Now, one thing I'd say before we get started is one thing that I've realized since having a toddler or having a baby, should I say, is that actually I don't need a whole day to fit sewing into um, you know what, what I'm doing. I don't need even half a day. What I can do is I can do 10 minutes here, 20 minutes there, half an hour or longer if you have got it, uh, maybe during a nap time or something like that. And before you know it, you can actually get a project sewn up in no time at all. Um, so let's get to it and I'm gonna share these tips with you. So I've actually got them written in this little cute notebook that I got given um, in a So Hayley Jane subscription box that I had recently. Um, it's very, very cute. It's got lots of little flowers all over it. So, um, so let's do the five minutes first. So I'm gonna share five different tips of what to do in five minutes or so. So the first one is, it might seem really basic, but actually choose your fabric. So one of the things that I love to do is daydream about projects that I'm gonna make. And one of the things that helps me do that is actually to choose a fabric from my fabric stash or fabric box, whatever you've got. I appreciate some people will have more fabrics at home to use than others, but just choose your fabric and then you can think about you know, what features you're gonna do on your pattern, what pattern you're gonna make, um, you know, um, what version of something you want to make. When you've got that fabric picked out, then that kind of, you know, helps to just pl plant that seed in your mind of how that, you know, project is gonna work for you. So that's my first top tip. My second top tip, again, may seem like a basic thing, but you know, it's needed. And that is basically to match your thread. So I actually have a box like this one here, or this one, should I say, which is full of um, different threads. So um, I tend to delve into this box when I've got five minutes and just have a look at the threads that I've got there and what might work for my project. So I bought this box, if you're interested, I think on Amazon ages ago, one of the best things that I've bought because it just keeps everything nice and tidy, um, as you can see in there. So yeah, if you've got five minutes, choose that fabric and then choose your matching thread. And then let's face it, you're halfway there. <laughs> The next one is just basically get all of your sewing equipment ready to go for when you do have time to start that project. So that could be scissors, it could be an unpicker, it could be your tape measure, it could be um, you know some tailor's chalk, whatever you need to start your project, just put them to one side, put them next to your sewing machine, put them in a little box, in a little container next to your sewing machine, whatever works for you, then just um, get those things ready because then when you do have a little bit longer to, to sew, 
you know, you're not going to be, you know, looking around in, um, you know, various places to try and find the things that you need. So I tend to keep mine in just a little box on the back of my sewing machine. And then I'm all ready to go when I do have five, 10, 20 minutes, whatever it is. Now tip number four, if you do have five minutes to spare, is actually just to have a quick tidy of your sewing space. Now, I don't know about you, but I am a messy sewer. So that basically means that um, I'm always in trouble with my husband because I've got fabric and bits and bobs everywhere all over our dining room. So I sew in my dining room. Unfortunately, I don't have a dedicated sewing space. I would love one, but I don't have one at the moment. So I sew on our dining room table, which means that when I've got all my stuff on there, we can't eat on there. Um, but um, I do try and uh, have a little tidy up of my space before I want to have you know, a bit of time to sew. I find that if my space is a little bit clearer, a little bit tidier, then that helps with my, I don't know, kind of vision for my project, my creativity. It just helps me to think a little bit clearer about what I want to achieve in that short window of time that I've got to um, sew up my project. So yeah, have a little tidy of your area. And honestly, it will just make you feel a little bit better when you do have time to get going. Tip number five, if you have got five minutes, is just to have a quick look online for sewing inspiration. So that might might sound, you know, like something you might do anyway every day. You might go onto Instagram every day. You might go onto Pinterest every day. Wherever you go, then just have a look for sewing inspiration for that project that you are planning on making. Because it might be that there's lots of different versions of that particular garment that you want to make. Maybe there's two, three, four different versions in the pattern pack, but you're not quite sure which one to go for. So by having a look on Instagram, for example, or Pinterest, or just Googling it, you know, whatever you prefer to do, then you might actually find um, the version that you would like to make, uh, whether that's I don't know, say it's a dress with ruffles, without ruffles, you might have something that's longer or shorter, you know, whatever it is, you're going to find some lovely inspiration on one of those platforms. And of course, lots of people do various sewing hacks as well. So perhaps you were considering making um, your lovely fabric into a dress, but then you might think, oh, someone's used that you know, similar fabric or um, that pattern that you want to use to make maybe a top or, you know, a skirt or some trousers or whatever it is. So just having a quick look around online, I often think can, you know, just plant a seed in my mind of the type, type of thing that I would like to do personally. So it's definitely worth, if you've got a five minutes, just having a little look online uh, for some sewing inspiration. So we're into the 10 minute section. So if you've got 10 minutes to spare, and you want to try and do something productive in terms of your kind of sewing time, then these are my ideas of things that you could do. Um, so these are things that I've done before and I do find really useful. So idea number one is thread your sewing machine or your overlocker. So I tend to leave mine out if I can get away with it <laughs> on my dining room table, but um, I know that sometimes you can't do that for whatever reason. So, you know, just get them out if you can, thread it up, and then put it wherever is convenient for you for when you have got time to get going and sewing. I, I find that if my sewing machine is threaded with the right colour thread, there's no faffing around when I have actually got a minute to go. I can just, you know, get my fabric or, you know, get my project that I've cut out already, and I think, right, I'm all set, I've got the thread in my machine, and off I go. And likewise with my overlocker, if I'm working on a jersey project, or I just want the right colour thread on there that I can finish my seams with, it's quite good if I have got 10 minutes just to thread it up, and then, um, you know, that really helps me out in the long run. Idea number two, if you have got 10 minutes, is to start to cut out or trace your pattern. So obviously 10 minutes is not very long, but you can start a task. So you don't have to have loads and loads of time to um, make you know cut out your paper pattern or trace your paper pattern or you know start to stick together your PDF pattern if perhaps you've downloaded it as an A4 and you want to stick it together if you've got 10 minutes why not start it you know um, and then when you've got another 10 minutes you can do a little bit more and a little bit more and before you know it you're gonna have that pattern cut out or stuck together or you know whatever works for you but honestly 10 minutes can go a really long way in terms of um, starting something like this idea number three if you have got 10 minutes is basically if your project is already cut out and um, you are on to something next that's sort of the next step 
then why not try one of these things? These are things that I do all the time and I find it to be quite useful. And it just makes me feel like I've been a little bit productive, even if I've only got the tiniest amount of time. So you could sew up a seam, you could sew up a dart or two, you could insert a sleeve or perhaps two, depending on how quick you are at doing it or how easy it is. Basically just do a small step of your project. So I don't know what project you're working on, of course, but you know, just, just do one step perhaps, or even half a step, just kind of get halfway there to um, completing a step as part of your project. And honestly, um, you know, if you, you're really enthusiastic about doing your sewing project, you know, it's really gonna be um, something you can tick off your list and think, yeah, I did that today and I'm gonna get there and I'm gonna finish this project soon. Now, idea number four, if you have got 10 minutes, is um, kind of going back to if your project is not cut out already. So if you have the space, and I appreciate that not everyone does, um, I know I kind of find this tricky sometimes, but if I clear my uh, machines from the dining room table, sometimes I can leave fabric and things out there, uh, which um, is quite useful. So what you could do is lay out your fabric and then perhaps place your pattern pieces on top. And if you have got time, you could start to pin them on. And then next time you've got five or 10 minutes, do a little bit more. And then eventually, of course, you can get on to cutting those out. Step number five, if you have got a spare 10 minutes, is actually to do pinning. So this could be in lots of different um, ways. And I'm gonna share with you a few different of, the, of these things that I do now. So it could be something as simple as just start to pin your pattern pieces onto your fabric before you cut them out. Or if you have cut out your pattern already, it could be something else. So it could include something like um, pinning part of your project. So it could be pin a seam, it could be pin a hem. So that could be, you know, around uh, the cuff area on your garment. It could be around the bottom of a t-shirt. It could be, you know, the hem of a circle skirt. Whatever you're working on, you could pin or start to pin a hem in 10 minutes. You could also mark um, other elements of your project um, that might be useful for you. So it could be that your garment has got darts. So you might want to mark um, the placement of those with pins, um, or you might want to use tape, tape tax if that's um, your chosen uh, method of doing that you could mark the placement of buttonholes perhaps with pins I do that sometimes which can be quite useful or any other step that you think you can do in 10 minutes give it a go and see how it works out so if you have 20 minutes or longer these are my top things that I tend to do if I've got that amount of time so tip number one is basically read your pattern instructions it might seem really daft or really silly to say but actually I really enjoy sitting down getting you know my iPad if it's electronic instructions um, or you know a paper pattern um, booklet and just having a look through I like to know where I'm starting at what I need to do kind of in the middle section and how I'm going to be ending my project because then when you are actually working through that instruction booklet you've got a little bit of an idea of you know what you need to do throughout obviously you can check the instructions as you go check step by step make sure that you're on track but if you have got a general overview um, you know I, I quite enjoy sort of thinking about the different steps that I've got to do in my sewing projects um, when I'm kind of daydreaming to myself or before I go to bed at night or you know whatever it is so um, if you just got a general overview of what you need to do for your project um, then that's quite nice so why not sit down with a cup of tea or coffee or glass of wine or whatever it is that you want to do if you've got um, 20 minutes or so and just have a flick through those instructions and um, yeah that could be quite useful. Step number two so if you haven't had the five minutes or the 10 minutes before that I mentioned cut out your um, fabric or cut out your pattern you can often do that in, in 20 minutes as long as it's not a really involved project or of course you can just cut out part of it and then come back to it later obviously if you are doing something quite involved like a big dress or a jacket project it's going to probably take more than 20 minutes to cut it out but you can just do what you can do in that amount of time and then come back to it later but obviously if you make a start then um, that's really good progress. So step number three, if you have got 20 minutes or more, is basically to do a step or two on your project. So I really enjoy kind of mentally sort of ticking things off on my list of things that I've completed with my sewing projects. So it could be inser inserting a neckband on a, you know, a t-shirt project if you're doing that. It could be inserting a couple of sleeves. 
It could be um, inserting a zip or perhaps starting some buttonholes or doing all of your buttonholes, depending on how many you've got and how you actually do them on your machine. It could be gathering up some project, uh, gathering up some fabric, should I say, or um, perhaps doing some pleating on, on a skirt. Um, or it could be, I don't know, putting together a waistband or starting to put together a collar or, um, you know, whatever you've got to do as part of your project, then try and complete one or two steps um, during the time that you've got. And um, I quite enjoy doing that. It's just, you know, it gets me a little bit closer to my end goal of um, finishing my project. Step number four, if you have got um, 20 minutes or longer is basically don't rush. <laughs> it's silly to say, but actually um, it's quite easy to sort of think, oh, I've got loads of stuff to do today. I haven't got time to do my sewing stuff. I need to put a wash on. I need to do lots of running around for whatever reason. I need to do the housework. You know, just take a minute, just relax a little bit. And, um, you know, when you have done all those essential things, when you have got time um, to think about your sewing project, then just take everything step by step. Because I find if I am in a bit of a mad rush and I'm trying to do everything all at the same time, then that's when I make mistakes. So actually, and, and you know, I do make lots of mistakes in my sewing projects. I think, you know, all of us do if, probably if we're being honest. But actually, if I do take my time and I am a little bit more relaxed about it, then I do find that things tend to go a little bit better. So yes, that's my top tip. Take your time, don't rush and just do what you can do in the amount of time that you have. Step number five, if you have got 20 minutes or more, is probably one of my favourites. And that's basically make yourself a drink, make yourself a snack and then complete whatever steps you can during the amount of time that you've got. So, you know, it's quite nice just to, you know, get a little snack, get your favourite drink, sit down in front of your sewing machine. And even if you don't complete very much, then at least, you know, you've had a little bit of you time. You've sat down in front of that machine. You've made an effort um, in terms of your sewing and, you know, you've done what you can do during the time that you've got. So I really enjoy doing that, even if it's, you know, I've made myself a drink, I've made myself a little snack. I really enjoy something like a chocolate pancake or um, a couple of biscuits or a bit of cake or something like that. Um, sitting down in front of my machine with a drink as well and um, I can just ponder about what I'm going to do even if I don't do any sewing. You know, I, I do find it beneficial if I just kind of sit down and think about what I need to do next when I have got time. So um, I hope you've enjoyed um, seeing my top tips today. Um, I'd love to know how you fit sewing into your life. Um, so do leave me any messages below that you'd like to um, and I always enjoy having a chat with you down there that that would be brilliant and um, you know leave me a like if you can and please consider subscribing to my channel if you haven't already um, that would be amazing but thank you to everyone of course who does leave likes and comments and who has subscribed already and um, you know who does visit my channel regularly I really appreciate it so I do tend to put videos out every week if you are new to my channel um, my videos are normally out towards the beginning of the week so somewhere between Sunday and Tuesday normally um, I can't always commit to an actual day it's just <laughs> when I have time to do the filming basically <laughs> but um, I do release videos every week anyway so if you do press your notification bell when you do subscribe then you will get an alert when you when I, you know I put a new video out so anyway I'll leave it there for today thank you so much for joining me today I've really enjoyed sharing my top tips so I hope you've enjoyed watching and I'll see you again next time Bye.